The first game to finish in uh, round six is a draw between Jan Nepomniši and Fabiano Caruana. Uh, Jan, can you please tell a little bit about this game? So it was a quiet game. Um, you were white, uh, so maybe you could explain about your choice of the opening. Uh, well, it was quite a quiet game, probably with quite a high uh, accuracy. Yeah, so everything it was exchanged quickly, and then I think after G5, G5 was a little bit of careless move. So I felt like, wow, maybe I can like have some cunning move order, like maybe even to win a pawn. But yeah, somehow even like the uh, some normal moves, like like he played, like I don't know, basically protecting every pawn is alright. I mean, this line is. Uh, I mean, slightly, slightly, maybe very, very tiny, prefer more preferable for white. Uh, but I didn't expect him to play bishop g4, so was some other idea. But uh, uh, I also would say that uh, probably I was uh, also focused on the first move c5, which mm -hmm. uh, which he played twice in this tournament. So e5 was not like a surprise, but uh, I mean, I mean, of course, it's like difficult. Uh, when your opponent has like a lot of good openings, like Fabiano, so he can basically play any, open, any opening, and yeah, inside the fight there is a big, big white choice. At some point in the end game, when you played rook, rook d4, rook a4, and then you declined the repetition with bishop e4, so uh, did you want still to press a little bit with white? Yeah, I wanted, but I underestimated that he could play c5, and then he's in time with a4, because I would say that if I would be in time to play, let's say, uh, uh, okay, let's say. Like I expected rook e6 to be honest. Like so, after rook d4 he could play rook d6. But what he did was also find that after rook c5, uh, rook d4 c5, c5 like a little bit restricts his own bishop. So if I'm in time to set up something like a4, c4, and then rook on b5, his position becomes like very suspicious. Uh, but uh, I mean the problem that uh, I don't think like I'm like I'm in time. Yes. Yeah? So he always has this a4 and he creates counterplay. So either my pawn will be fixed on a3 or he puts it on a3 and it's. Uh, he would be always able to, you know, activate his rook, or maybe activate his bishop, and then okay, if he reaches a2 pawn, then okay, he's he's doing fine. So maybe it was still like I don't know, like zero zero one or something for white, but I felt like yeah, maybe it's, it's time to call it today yeah, after after he played c5 and a4. Yeah, fine. Thank you, Jan. Uh, nothing else to ask you about today. Uh, so thanks. Thank you.